Welcome back everybody. This is the video I've been most excited to show you. It's the final completion of the new field laid down at Alex Rodriguez Park. It's been done by the CamCon group. Shout out to them for a great project and all of the grounds crew. As you can see, the outfield looks wonderful. We're definitely gonna check out the infield as well. And you can see the turf that was put in. We're gonna look at the bullpens, just everything with the ballpark. I wanna show you guys the field, what it looks like. I think it looks great. And you can get a good close up view of the field and the stadium as baseball is just around the corner. A few dates to keep in mind, January 17th classes begin. Now they're gonna have a team meeting, the first team meeting for the upcoming 2023 season. Miami's a top 10 team in preseason rankings. They'll have some individual practices. Then the first official preseason practice is January 27th. The season opens February 17th against Penn State. Hopefully the, the stadium will be packed when Penn State comes to town for the opener. But once again, the field looks great and just taking a look at it, you know, I was excited to show you guys the progress of it. If you want to go back and kind of see how it all worked out and maybe some details of the stadium process of how they did certain things, definitely check out the first two videos in the channel. I'll, I'll link them right here so you can see them. If you want to go back in case you just missed it and want to see other footage of how this whole process began. But again, so there's the home bullpen right there on the first base line. I'm not going to go too close there because as you can see, there's some players there kind of throwing the ball around and, and I don't want to get too close. So I'm just going to stay nice and high so you can see the, the stadium and, you know, Coral Gables, you know, US1 right over there. It's a great look. You can only go so high, so I, I don't want to go even further. Just want to stay within the rules and the regulations of being a drone pilot. So again, I think the bullpen, in case you haven't seen other videos, they're putting the bullpen off the play of field and I, I think that's great the fact that they're doing this now is wonderful and as you can see it's right there by that indoor practice facility where they've got some mounds and some some batting cages in there and, and that's fairly new in the last couple of years but now they got the bullpen right there and as you can see it's really close to the dugout so you don't have to have that long walk also you don't have to worry about getting hit with the ball in play you know a lot of times you have to have a, a player a teammate kind of make sure that you're not going to get hit as the game's going on and then over down the third baseline and I'll get closer over there you see the the visitors bullpen so again nice and high I like to get the whole stadium in but the whole field but you can't go too high here but another thing that was done in addition to laying the new field and the turf behind home plate is they kind of did they put in some new walls there in the outfield looks about the same it's not going to be anything noticeable Nothing like the bullpens off the field, but I think it just looks great. And once again, getting a look at this and just a great aerial shot. And I want to shout out to everybody that's followed along in the process, or if you're watching this one for the first time, this is something new to the channel. I wanted to show you guys some, some drone footage to give you guys a different look because typically I would go into something like this, maybe take a few pictures, maybe write about it, but I think it's really hard to say exactly what's going on without seeing these full aerial shot so so once again behind home plate as you can see it's a little darker green so that's a turf and that, that's going to be that, that's right there that that's been in plan that's something new typically they've just had the grass but it does look a little different but that's also going to kind of protect the grass back there as players are constantly walking up there on, for the batting cages there's just a lot of, of constant movement around there so one thing I don't know for sure is what they're gonna put on the turf, if they're gonna put a Miami logo, or if they're gonna have just the Canes or, or whatever it might be. Sometimes they've done that, getting ready for big games or hosting regionals, something like that. They have stuff there, but that's something to pay attention to. And definitely drop in the comments. Let me know what you think, what should be behind home plate. And also let me know what you think of this stadium. So this is a great shot. So that's the press box. It's, press box. it's been redone quite a bit over the years since I've been covering the team. It was down the third base line and anybody that's come to the stadium over the last 20 years has definitely seen a lot of improvements with the stadium in addition to right now with the bullpens being changed and the new facility. One thing I do want to mention too, I'm not going to go into the, the details of it. You can check out video number two, but that's the new expanded weight room. It's right there underneath the press box. You can kind of see it from here. Just that different, you know, basically they just expanded it. More equipment, uh, more state-of-the-art equipment. They definitely wanted to do that. The Ruiz family 
with that donation to, to, to expand the weight room. So that's definitely a good sign. And, you know, they, they've redone the, the locker rooms in recent years. So that's great. Again, the, the stadium has changed quite a bit. And if you haven't followed the baseball program a lot, I would definitely highly recommend it. It's a great atmosphere to go to the games, a highly competitive team. You know, coming off a good season last year that ended in a little bit of disappointment there in the regional, just a tough day with those couple losses. So, but anyways, a lot of talent still on this team. Gino Damari wants to get this thing going. Once again, they've made steps each season, so we'll see what kind of steps they make this year. And as you can see, some workers right here, just kind of maybe some finishing touches. I, I didn't get a chance to talk to them, but working on this bullpen. Again, this is the one that I've showed you quite a bit, just being able to be closer to it. But this is the visitor's bullpen, of, of just exactly what it looks like with the two, which is typical. Uh, you know, you got an opportunity. Teams typically, you know, will throw a, a lefty and righty there in the bullpen at the same time to determine who they want to put in. But yeah, it's great. It was two before, and, and now you see two. A little bit there and I think what's great too is for the fans once again you're still able to, to look into the bullpen uh, very easily if you've got a seat right there if you want to stand right on those bleachers you know and, and it was like that before but you know you're still able to do that let's just take this thing back out again just trying to stay low want to show you guys the field and as you can see the way it's it's this this rollout, you know, kind of grass here, and you can kind of see, you know, how it's been separated, and they're going to continue to work on it. Again, everything was on schedule when we've done these updates. When I've done these updates, you know, everything was planned, and they're going to be ready for the season, and there's no doubt it looks like it's ready to go, and they're going to be ready for workouts and, and all that stuff. I know that was a high priority, and that's why every time I came over to the stadium, there were constantly multiple people working on the project. You know, whatever it might have been, you know, in the infield, the outfield, doing different things. Definitely wanted to have this thing ready to go for the season. And, and for a baseball fan like myself, it is just great seeing this. Not just the not just the guys throwing there, but just seeing the green grass and the great weather and the sunshine. And baseball's right around the corner. Major League Baseball fans should be excited about spring training once again, right around the corner. Last year, I made a, the road trip to Palm Beach to see former Hurricane Chris Herman. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do that again, but I definitely enjoy spring training and, and would like to definitely do that again and, and kind of put something together for you guys. Once again, just kind of wrapping this thing up. But I want to show you more of, of the outfield and, and taking a look, giving you guys different looks of it. But I'm curious what you think of this field, how it looks, and. And certainly the atmosphere is great. Once again, if you haven't been to the stadium for a home game to watch the Hurricanes or you haven't really followed the program too much, definitely I would highly recommend it. Definitely going to be covering it plenty for the website on InsideTheU.com and hopefully doing plenty of stuff here, getting out to practices, you know, putting video of guys on the channel and like we've done in the past. So, And if there's any recommendations you have in terms of what you'd like to see covered with the baseball program in particular, Definitely drop in the comments. Let me know. I always like hearing what you guys have to say. You know, that's my job, you know, to provide as much information and content for you guys, the diehard fans of the Miami Hurricanes. So I'm definitely going to wrap this thing up. I want to thank everybody for watching. Once again, like the video if you haven't yet. Subscribe to the channel. We're definitely getting close to that 20,000. We've got to keep grinding. So I want to thank everybody for watching and take care.